Hey, welcome to Camping Gear TV. I'm Josh, this is Ben, and today we're here to talk about trail hanky. Uh, as you can see, we have Ben, who is a professional handkerchief or bandana model, and uh, he's trying out some of the stuff we've got today. Now, you don't have to wear them all at once, but if you're thinking about it, you know kind of what you're getting yourself into here. Uh, what the trail hanky is all about is um, it's a uh, bandana that has trail maps and uh, other themes on it, right? And, and let me tell you how, how it all started. Uh, it was started by Dwayne Hall, AKA, what, what's his name? Oh, Hiker Hank, okay? So Dwayne was a big backpacker um, and uh, he was always having trouble with his trail maps, right? Because they're paper, they get a lot of, you know, um, you know, rain and sweat on them, and then they, uh, you know, they kind of get all nasty and stuff. Um, you know, you fold them up, and they kind of just turn into a bunch of junk, right? So he thought about, well, what can I do to make a trail map that's durable? Why not put it on a bandana? Brilliant, brilliant. So uh, Hank or uh, Dwayne decided to make the trail hanky. Um, the trail hanky. Uh, is 100% cotton. You can get them at trailhanky.com. Uh, and just like any bandana, uh, the trail hanky has a ton of stuff it can be used for. So if you, you know a backpacker or a camper, cut from any cloth, needs some bandanas, right? And you might need 30, or you might just need a couple, depending on what you're getting yourself into. But some of the things a bandana can be good for, um, as uh, as hiker Hank. Was kind enough to point out on his website are things like a washcloth, a towel, pot holder or bandage. Bandage is a nice call. Signaling device or safety device. Headwear or neckwear. This is the headwear. This is the bandit mode, and there's some neckwear going on there too, right? Uh, it's a good cooling system, as uh, everyone probably knows, and uh, personal hygiene, and more, right? So uh, these things are about six, seven bucks, bucks each. You can buy them at trailhanky.com. Um, they've got a lot of trails on them. Um, their uh, their company is out of Arkansas, so they're really strong in Midwest parks. Trail maps for Midwest parks, the Buffalo River, um, lakes, and other things in the area. They've got some golf courses that they have printed on here. Um, you know, here's one that's the uh, Buffalo River Trails, personal favorite of mine. This, these things are detailed. They go into all sorts of stuff. I mean, they're really nice. Um, let's see, this one, Robbers Cave State Park, where outlaws lived. And they might have dressed like this guy here when they lived there. This one I like a lot, the Bats of Carlsbad Caverns National Park and it just talks about the kind of bats that are in there. There's one called the Mexican free-tailed bat and he must uh, he must be scared about the immigration stuff going on these days because he's from Mexico and there's this thing with the border down in the whatever. Trail maintenance a guide to playing in the dirt so this one's really nice I think you know just different things about you know, being on the trail and doing the right stuff, keeping trails up to speed and in good shape. I like that. I like fishing from time to time, so I like this one, which is called Get Hooked on Fishing, and it goes through and shows pictures of fish. Uh, it's just kind of Hoosier, and I like that. Deciduous Trees of North America. Very nice. Uh, I like that they featured the Western White Oak, also known as the Valley Oak, a personal favorite of Ben and mine. This one is called Stargazing, and again, you can buy all these at their website, six or seven bucks each, and you will be the talk of the town, or the campsite, or the trail. So yeah, there's constellations and stuff on here, so when you're sitting by the campfire, you can take a look up there and know what you're looking at. Uh, the safety hanky, one of their more popular ones, goes into a lot of different um, safety techniques and tips for when you're out on the trail, what to do, what not to do, that kind of stuff. This would be good to have. 
This one I like a lot, knot essentials. It just goes into the how-tos on how to tie a bunch of different knots. One's called the bowline knot, which we reviewed in a prior episode. And uh, my personal favorite, tracks and scat, which talks about different animal tracks you might find out on the trail or around your campsite, as well as scat and what the poop of these animals looks like. Uh, it goes into some details about, oh, raccoon scat is similar to cat droppings, but blunt on the ends and contains seeds and uneaten berries. I didn't know that, but apparently raccoons don't fully digest the berries. So they come out basically raw. I wonder if you could, if they're uneaten, you know, you might be able to eat them. And uh, so Trail Hanky also has some stuff like game bandanas or handkerchiefs. This one's the chess and checkers. It comes with some little chess and checkers pieces. So kind of a real a cool lightweight little thing to bring with you um, if you're going uh, backpacking or something and want a little game to tide you over, a little chess or checkers. Um, so that's it. That's Trail Hanky. And uh, we, uh, we appreciate looking at these. These are really cool bandanas. Um, you know, you can, uh, you can place custom orders at their site. Uh, so if you're a, you know, a park or a campsite that would like to have these made up to sell in your gift shop, that'd be great. Um, if you're just a guy that wants some custom bandanas made, hook them up. Trailhanky.com. We're CampingGearTV.com. My name's Josh. This has been The Bandito. Thanks a lot.